welcome to the project demonstration of human detection robot along with email alerts of the particular person images by using ESP32 camera and this robot consists of obstacle sensor like uh, detection sensor SR04 so whenever the obstacle is present in front of the sensor at a distance of 30 centimeters below 30 centimeters then the robot will stop moving and it will take the left direction and uh, it will move uh, check for the again the obstacle uh, presence and if the obstacle presence again then it will keep on taking the left direction till the obstacle avoids and then start moving forward direction so while moving if is there any like motion detected so that will be identified by this PIR sensor and then uh, it will inform to the ESP32 camera along with buzzer indication so the ESP32 camera will uh, take the picture of the particular scenario and will send the mail to the register email id by using the hotspot so here we have interfaced the SR04 ultrasonic sensor to the Arduino Uno board at pin number 2 and 3 and continuously we are going to display the distance on the 16 by 2 LCD screen which is connected at A0 to A5 and L293 motor driver to control the motor direction in forward backward sorry forward left directions so it was connected 8 9 10 11 pins and this is the buck converter as ASP32 camera need more power so for that purpose we are going to use this LM2596 regulator which will take 12 volts input and provide us the 5 volts output with 2 amps of current and here uh, L293 motor driver is uh, connected to the battery and this consists of one 7805 regulator here we can see the 7805 regulator so which will provide the power supply to the UNO board separately and uh, we have interfaced these two DC motors to the L293 motor driver so back side of this robot body consists of two DC motors and here PR sensor interfaced at the 13th pin of our ESP32 camera and uh, here uh, we are using a 12 volt 1 amp battery which is rechargeable battery so if you want to charge a battery just we need to connect the battery to this charging circuit so there we connect T to the T here and B to the B so to charge this battery so we need to connect the battery over here and you can give the 230 volts input to this transformer so the transformer will step down the 230 volts AC to 12 volts AC and this charging circuit will convert the 12 volts AC to 12 volts pure DC voltage which is sufficient to charge our battery and then uh, it will take around of 8 to 10 hours to be fully charged so after the time completes you can disconnect the charger from the charging circuit and you can switch off the power supply of this charger and here there is a main on off switch on this robot so for demonstration I am showing on the not on not on the floor so here this is the red color switch under the LCD display there is a on off switch here so we can see this it's on off switch okay so place this so right actually before switching on this switch we need to enable the hotspot along with data so change the hotspot name and password to the project for uh, 5156 and password should be 12345678 without any capital letters without any space on the hotspots and along with data and you can switch on the kitchen so now see uh, robot is moving forward if any obstacle detects then you can observe that the robot taking direction changing to left side so you can see on the floor so till obstacle awards it's keep on taking the directions and once if is any motion detector in front of this raspberry pi uh, sorry uh, PIR sensor then it will take some time to getting heat up initially once the sensor getting heat up it will uh, sense the right sense the motions in a faster manner so you can see one device is connected and then go to gmail so 
also we are getting the images.